Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's watercolor, I'm gonna call it the full um, canvas because it looked like it's a canvas really. And again, I took a class watercolor, um, the basic of watercolor with one of my uh, team member, Jeanne, and I absolutely love what I learned. So like, I'm not an expert, don't, thing that I know a lot about watercolor but uh, I'm going to share what I learned and I absolutely love the way that this turned out so again I will call that the full canvas watercolor the full canvas so I'm using a piece of uh, watercolor paper that it's uh, for me I love watercolor paper when it's a full canvas like that. And you get two sides. And again, that's your personal choice. I like to color where the side that it's more rough. But again, it's personal choice. I know that I said many times that I don't like to use my um, photopolymer on Staza. Well, I'm going to go beyond that today and I'm going to use it because I really like this flower that it's in the pen it and paint it and this is going to be retired here so it's very limited till when you can order it so visit my blog at frenchystamps.com after May 22nd uh, 2017 it is while supplies last so you want to get there it's many more that you can get though like I use some with the birthday blossom so any kind of detail not too detailed but a bit of detail outline stamp work great and to go faster for today we're going to put uh, this about um, right here and I'm using my foam under to make sure and really I want a good image usually I would say stamp first let me line this up here on scrap paper and then go on your paper and I forgot about that so I'm going to come back and see you could hear that I bet the stickiness there and then I'm going to wash that right away and when you uh, use a photopolymer with a stamp set you do not want to use I lost my right here um, you don't want to use the stays on cleaner that is a no-no with stays on you can use stays on with photopolymer but the cleaner it's a no-no so just a regular cleaner and if you stamp it first in Versamark and then stays on that's going to help a bit of the stickiness but I wanted the full stays on for watercolor then because uh, I'm just going to use one flower there we will use see what oh it's right here uh, we will use um, the leaves also so let me stamp the leaf and we're gonna go from there so and again remember I said it's better if you stamp on scrap paper first so I'm gonna bring a piece of scrap paper here here we go. It's just to make sure it's very well ink. And then I'm going to come right here. Et voila. So again, we want to wash that. Oops. Uh, where was it? Here it was. See, it cleaned good. It's just you want to clean it right away. It gets sticky. and Okay, so now we're going to start watercolor. The best thing you're going to need, it's a napkin or paper towel there. And depends what you want. Like here, I wanted the inside more light. I mean the inside of the petal and darker here. This one, I went, I, I'm sorry. This one, yeah, I went darker this way. Also this one. This one, it's darker in the center. So I'm going to show you both petals. We're going to switch between the petals. Um, I'm going to start with my center. I'm going to use the Daffodil Delight in the center. This is the watercolor pencil from Stamping Up. I absolutely 
love the way that they color. I'm just going to follow the outline right now with the Melon Membo. So I'm just going to do the outline a bit with the Melon Membo. And I'm going to be using Melon Membo and Pumpkin Pie. I like those two colors together. They complement each other very well. Here we go. And um, here we go. So now we're going to have the melon membo inside and the orange at the outside, like this one. Melon membo, it's over there, and the orange, it's there. You know what? And here was the orange in the center and there. So we're going to do like this one. So um, see, I'm just going to color no special way. After I've done my outline, I'm just going to put my colors here. And then I'm going to use my uh, pumpkin pie and put that over here. See, I leave some kind of white there. Now you want to make sure that your brush is kind of, I mean wet, but when it gets too wet you want to wipe it off. So if you want to have the petal darker at the end, what you're going to do is start from the center and push your color up. So that way you, the dark is going to be all at this end. So you see, you're pushing the color up. Now when it gets too wet, you can wipe it there. Now let's say that you want the color darker down there. I would start from the top. I'm just going to mix that a bit. Push it down. So now I'm just pushing the color down. So you see it is lighter at the top and it gets darker because you're pushing the color down. So it depends the look that you want. Now, I'm going to leave those two petals like that. It don't matter. Uh, well, it would be better if I follow the same pattern. So now I want the darker at the top. So I'm just pushing the color on top. And keep the color there. See? So we're going to do this quick here. You can fuss with it and whatever how much time you want to spend. But right now, I don't want to keep you here too long. So let me push. So now I'm wiping some of the color because I have too much of the, the memento, uh, not memento, the melon mumbo. So I wanted to take some of that pinkish off there. So I just wipe off and then, so the, if you want it lighter, you would wipe off the color and then come back. See, now I get that lighter. Here we go. Now for the leaves, this I learned that from my friend Stephanie. The leaves, she always used two colors and she used a green and a yellow. And if you look at leaf, really you see both of these colors. So I'm going to do my outline in the green here. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of green on the outside here. See just there. And now in the center, that's where I'm going to bring some yellow. Just a bit of yellow. And that's really kind of the light pushing it. So for <clears throat> this one, I like the outside of the leaf darker and the inside uh, lighter. So I'm going to start from the center and push my color out. So my outside or the outline should be darker. Now I'm going to turn this here, wipe this because I don't want too much of the green there. I want to keep some of the yellow. So I'm just going to push my yellow to the outside there by the green. Here we go. I could add a little bit more yellow, but I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to go where my yellow is. Just push the yellow a bit. Now I can push my green. So the outline should be the darker for my leaf and the center must be, should, for me, I want it lighter. Here we go. It's no right and wrong, but. 
So now let me bring this closer. Now if you want to add color, if you color right now it's still wet, it's just going to bleed. And you can come with your brush, put the aqua painter right here, and then add a bit more of the color here. Or you can let it dry. If you let it dry, then it's easier to work. Like this one here, I want it more yellow. After it was done, I want it more yellow. So I can come back, put some yellow here, and then I can work that back in. So after it dry, you get a lot more give, a, more, a lot more play in it. See? So the same thing with these uh, leaves here. What I done, it's I did all the out here like this in the green. Add a bit of where the outline are done. And then I came with my yellow and did just my center there. And then took this, push that this way. And then wipe that up. Just going to pull my yellow a bit and then I can push it all on the outside. See, I think that give a very good look. Now for the full canvas, this one here, I use Bermuda Bay, Tempting Tur uh, Pacific Point, and um, Daffodil Delight. That's this one. This one, I did the same thing. Those three colors. Very little in the yellow. This one, I didn't use the Pacific Point. Remember that blue and yellow make a green. So what I done, what uh, Jeanne taught us was you do the outline in the dark first. And maybe it's not exactly how she taught us. But this is what I remember, put it that way. And for me, I think it worked awesome. So when I say I had the dark color, I just do the outline of my um, stamp image. So I'm gonna do all the outline and I just scribble a little bit around it. Here we go. Now I'm gonna go with the lighter one. That's gonna be my um, Bermuda Bay. If you're wondering what I'm using to uh, sharpen my pencil, it is a all, uh, we used to have that years ago in Stamping Up when we used to have the watercolor. It is a sharpener. We don't have that anymore, but uh, I found out that if you're looking for a good sharpener for your watercolor pencil, um, not a mascara, but um, eye eyeliner. If you use one of those pencil sharpener, I heard they work very lovely. Every time I go at the store, I'm, I'm thinking before I leave, oh, I'm going to go get one of them. And I come back home and I forget. I forget my list all the time, you know. Now I'm going to do yellow. And yellow, see, I'm just going to color quick on the outside. And this all depends, they all going to look dif different, depends where you're going to stop your brush stroke, how much water you're going to put, and so on. So I think even if I would try to do two of the same, it wouldn't happen. Now I'm going to start with plenty of water. Again, this is an aqua painter, you just fill the barrel with plain O2, just water. Now I'm going to push... I want to push it out. So what I'm going to do, see I just come too much, push the, this out. So it's going to keep the dark on the, on the edge and then it's going to go as lighter as we go. Again, the marble of the water, that's what gives the character and that all depends how much water you put and where you stop your brush stroke. So I know we didn't use any green in this, but why we get the green? It's the blue and the yellow that we get that tone of green. So you see, I just push. 
and it's better if you let your flower dry completely because you see it bled there a bit so um, for best result let your uh, flower dry completely and that's going to be make it much better here see i just sw squiggle swiggle here we go so now you get the clue see now i'm wiping when i see i get too much wa water i just um, move my brush on my napkin and then come back and keep on pushing it and then if you see you get too much of one color you can come and mix some here see i'm coming to get some blue here and add a bit of gluten there just to give some character see and as it's dry this is going to look very different from what you're seeing so this is going to be posted on my blog at frenchystamps.com and um, you can get all the supplies list there and you can shop 24 7 so just visit my blog at frenchystamps.com the link for the direct um, for this card here it's right above in the high that's going to bring you right at this post or right below you in the description you get the link also so now you see i'm almost done and oops i put too much water there i wanted to speed up the process but if that happened to you get too much you can dip your um, napkin on top there here we go my friend here i get a bit too much so i'm gonna wash this off so here we go my friend now you get a good view of this so again i'm going to call this the full canvas watercolor thank you so much for watching and i will be back soon with another video thank you and have a lovely day my friend bye bye for now